one of the most classic truffle recipes today, just really simple black truffle butter. I go over a number of different types of black truffles you can buy because there's budget truffles. Check out the blog post that's linked in the video description for more on that. First thing you're gonna do is cut some truffles. I'm using French Perigord, tuber melanosporum here. Cut them into julienne, then cut them into tiny cubes. Then we're gonna take some room temperature unsalted butter, add some salt. You wanna add salt to unsalted butter because it lets you control the seasoning. Then I'm gonna add half of my truffles, which are gonna get kind of broken up in there. The butter should be a little bit gray. And then to help it along, I really like to use just a couple shots from a blowtorch on the side of the metal bowl. That'll save you a few minutes, makes things easier, just not too much. And then you're gonna whip this up until it is silky and shiny and smooth, and then we'll fold in the rest of the truffles because we want pieces of truffle in there. Because when you bite them and get the little truffle crunch, it's gonna fill your sinuses with truffle aroma. And a secret to compound butter, here's a great secret, is a little bit of ice, an ice cube or two. That is really going to incorporate some air into the butter and it makes it fluffy and shiny and silky and wonderful. Great little tip you can use for any compound butter. And we're just gonna whip that up really, really well and then add it the rest of our truffles. Then we're gonna spread out the butter onto a piece of parchment. Just try to get it roughly in the middle. Then we're gonna roll it up into a nice little log. Again, this is not a perfect, this is not an exact science. You can see the image at the beginning of this video. My butter was almost a rectangle. It's okay. They're truffles. They're going to taste awesome. Twist the ends a little bit, roll it, and then we're going to tie the ends with a little bit of twine. And then after this, I'm actually going to vacuum seal it and freeze it because truffle butter freezes like a dream. Give it a little vacuum seal. And then when I take it out of the freezer, I'll cut a chunk off and reseal it. And then you can get a lot of mileage out of them like that. Now I'm going to show you how to make a quick little pasta with truffle sauce. I have a couple morels there. And you can improvise a lot of different things here. I had a little wine. I had a little bit of the morel soaking liquid, shallot, and garlic because truffles love garlic. And we're going to cook that juice down until the pan is nearly dry. Then we're going to add some pasta and a little bit of pasta water. And you'll see I add the truffle butter at the very end. You don't wanna cook truffles. You wanna add them raw or at the very end of cooking. Otherwise, you're gonna destroy the flavor. Very end, I'm just tossing the butter in. I might turn the heat back on just for a second to make sure it's nice and hot, but not too much. Just toss that together. And I'll add a little bit of my homemade truffle oil. Obviously that's optional. And that is a wonderful, simple pasta with truffle sauce. You see all the recipes here are very simple. Steak with truffle butter is another classic, just like you'd use another compound butter. Mashed potatoes with truffle butter, also excellent, but probably my favorite, truffle butter smeared on toast with mushrooms and truffles. I hope you try some truffle butter sometime. Thanks for watching.